Member of the Peace Management Initiative, Harris Levy, has expressed disappointment with the way in which National Security Minister, Dr. Harris Chang, has responded to recent killings in the country. Mr. Levy says Dr. Chang appears to be relaxed as opposed to urgently finding a solution to tackle the increase in homicide cases. Mr. Levy cited Sunday's triple murder of a family in Trial Heights as an example. He says given that the government relies on data analysis to tackle the pandemic, a similar approach should be used to reduce the country's murder rate. When you take a look at social science with regard to crime, you find uh, you know, a, an agreement uh, on the causes of, uh, of crime and murder, which is quite considerable, and we'll come to that in a minute. But in general, the scientific approach has been there with regard to COVID, and we haven't seen that applied similarly with regard to crime. And the second thing, which is out of treatment of COVID, is the mobilization of government around it. The entire government has been mobilized around it. Speaking Tuesday on the morning agenda on Power 106 FM, Mr. Levy explained that the government is not exploring enough options to tackle the country's crime rate. There's a freshness of approach to COVID that we haven't seen with regard to anything else. Fresh approach, new things tried, information circulated, right? The government's entire administration mobilized around uh, COVID to the extent that the, the number of deaths from COVID has been kept to 250 for the year. So up until a couple of weeks ago, when the data I saw, right, there were more deaths last year than this year, even with COVID. In the meantime, Mr. Lever has attributed the source of crime to social issues in the communities. It's the way you treat the communities and the people in these communities, right? And the people, and there are two reactions to the way you treat them. If you treat them badly, which is, which is what has been happening in Jamaica, because they, the depressed and the deprived communities are depressed and deprived, and there is an enormous difference between the better off and the worse off, if you treat them badly, you get two reactions. One is the criminal reaction which says, all right, you're going to treat me that way, I'm going to grab what I can. And that grabbing is getting worse, has gotten worse. And there's another set of, of people, young people mostly, who are... Uh, are tempted in that direction and are swayed in that direction and are moved in that direction by the criminals, but who can be reached and who must be reached. Kerry Ann Goldson for Frontline News.